Hello. 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 Hello, everyone. This is Juan from No Mesel. This is Master Liu from Sofix. So today, we're going to explain to you guys, we, got, we have three topics, okay? Mm. First topic, we are going to explain from 2018 to 2020, MacBook model from uh, 5 voltage to 20, T model. We're going to explain the, uh, uh, the theory part of, uh, theory part of the, about this issue, about this topic. So the second thing we're going to share the method of quickly repairing 5 voltage to 20. So what's the issue with uh, T1? What's the issue with T2? So how what's the uh, how it's the uh, how it goes? It's like uh, it's also theory. Theory we're gonna say we're gonna use the the whiteboard to see how how it works. So after that, the third topic we're gonna have like uh, QE times, question and answers. So if you have any questions during this training or this live stream, so welcome to leave your comments in the comment area. So when we see that, we we'll answer you guys. Okay, now let's get started. Master Liu, it's your turn. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so today we are talking about the T1 and the T2. Let's go T2 to the board. Okay. T1 and the T2 is the okay. circuit problem, right? Yes. Mm. The final one is. We're talking about a T1, it's a 2016, 2017, a T1 model. T1 model, from the 16, 2017, he used the USB-C connection, have a C, have a C connection. Have a C connection, so we have the one more goes to 10 one Okay, one more goes to and uh, before I tell you the this one socket or the which I see control the T1 model. Okay, T1 model. It's the USB C. USB C and T control the charger I see. Okay, and charger I see. Charge IC pretty the voltage. Okay, pretty the voltage to this IC. Then T control the uh, SMC, pretty the voltage to SMC. So this is about the T1 socket. USB C chip pretty the voltage, pretty the power to charge IC. Charge IC he received the voltage. Then the working connection is no more to produce the enable. Yet to this IC to open the voltage to SMC. Okay. SMC. So when the SMC working connection is no more than the communication the data to USB C. This one to communication the data to USB C okay. I also USB C T have the USB C row. Okay, USB C row. USB C row he the data inside the USB C row. So now uh, I open the schematic over the T1 socket. Okay, over the T1 socket. Can see the T1 socket in the T1. L706, okay, as example. And uh, open the uh, scan and the power to find the USB-C. Can see T have the four chips, four USB-C chips. Two USB C connector J3300 and uh, this side is uh, JB500. Okay, JB500. So the USB C chip produce the voltage to this IC. So you search this one. You sorry, I mean, not this. 
So it's uh, we find it's a P P with search. In the other model, T U S the U three zero. So now this one is uh, U. Which one is this? Can you find it there? I see in the model. Box. This one. Okay, it's a U six nine zero three. Okay, U six nine zero three. U six nine zero three. This one. Okay, U six nine zero three. Okay, use this nine zero three to this IC. Okay, to put the voltage to SMC. Okay, this IC. He put the voltage to SMC. So the USB C, you can see the multiple. He have the four USB C chip. And you can see this multiple or oh, is a T1 model. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Goes to the microscope. Microscope okay. well here. Okay, yeah, this, okay, here this one. Oh, uh, you can see. Mm -hmm. This one, this side. Here, can you see? Okay, here. This one. This so, chip. Yes, this chip is a USB CD three two one five. And the other side also have the CD three two one five. Then the communication the data to this USB C room here. Okay, USB C room. So two chips communication the data. So one USB C room here, this one. In the other side, this side. You also have the uh, USB C chip, this one. And the uh, next one is uh, this one. Okay, two sides. The communication the data to so this one, USB C. Room, okay, USB C room. So this is about the uh, T1 model. So now you can see I use the uh, my mouse. So see the this one change. Here's the micro. Yes. Okay, let's go to micro. Yes. See the USB C. USB C chip. CD switch to CD switch to one five. Okay, CD switch to one five. This one. CD switch to one five. And the communication, the data is a, a CD switch to one five. This room. Okay, this one room. No. This one. So USB C room. This is USB C room. Yes. This is a USB C room. So the, this one is about the USB C room. And the next one can see in the other side. Also do you have communication the data. So now I use the uh multiple or uh, use the this one, the schematic. You can see. Schematic. Uh this one to communication the data to other side is uh, USB C room here. U to a Nigeria, U to a Nigeria. It changed this one. It's a USB C room. A USB C room. The communication the data to USB C chip. Okay, you copy this name, then you can find the USB C chip here. Then to change the name, it's name. Copy this name. Search. So this are USB C chip CD switch to one five. Okay, CD switch to one five. So this are about the T one socket. Okay, T one socket USB C. The communication the data. Okay, to USB C chip this one. USB C row communication the data to USB C. SMC working connection is normal than the communication the data to USB C chip. USB C chip reading the USB C ROM data 
Okay, you have to be zero data. When the data is normal, so NG can go to firewall to candy wall. Okay. So a lot of the problem is the uh, USB C long data or the SMC not working. So just the fine voltage. Okay. So repair the T1 model. You must check the one, two, three, four. Four, I see the working condition. Okay, and check the USB C long data. So this is the T1, T1 model, T1 socket. Now uh, uh you say that is a uh, what? It's a DFU. Oh yes, T two, T two model have the DFU. T two model have the T one no DFU. Okay, T one, T one model no DFU mode. So now I tell you the T two, two thousand eighteen to two thousand twenty. Okay, about the T two model. The firewall goes to twenty one. The socket, okay, T2 model. Also, T2 to use the USB C, USB C chip. For this USB C, this model to use the CD3215, okay, CD3215. For the T2 model, to use the uh, CD3215 or CD3217. Okay, 2019. 2019. This one is a 2018. Use a different chip. Okay, use a different uh, year. Use a USB C chip. So different. So now USB C chip. T control the charger IC. Charger IC also different. And then this before to use a. 9239. T2 model to use the 9240. Okay, 40. Then you also the uh, enable to this IC. We don't want to make it. Okay, then you further the voltage to PMUIC. PMUIC T further the voltage to T2. T2. Then the T2 working condition is normal. T2 to control the USB C. Okay, to USB C chip. So communication the data to USB C chip. Which one is different? Just the T2 model, T2 PMUIC. PMUIC. And the T2. SMC inside the T2. So T2 control the USB C. One more goes to ten D one. Okay, the other socket set. Okay, the other socket set. So now I open the T two schematic to check on this one. T two schematic. Okay, open the T two. So you can see the T2 model, which one? So for the okay, A19, 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 A19. Okay, all the T2 model, the socket is sent. So okay. Uh, also you can search the U6903. Yeah. T2. Same. U6903. Uh, the USB C chip produce the voltage. Okay, USB C chip produce the uh, voltage to charge IC. Okay, charge IC produce the voltage to this IC and uh, produce enable to the U three U six nine zero three. Then to produce the voltage to PM USB. Okay, to PM USB you see the multiple feature uh, from the, this one. Yeah, multiple. This one, okay. Two PM USC. This one PM USC. PM USC produce the voltage to T two. When the T two working condition is normal, T two control the USB C. Okay, control the USB C to firewall goes to twenty one. So this is about the. 
呃 T two model T five wall or two twenty wall the socket A into model T communication the data to USB C. So also USB C to T within the USB C room. A USB C room data. And T two model is a T two. T2 room, okay, and uh, T2 bridge office. Okay, T2 bridge office. So, you will see the uh, just a fine voltage, okay, just a fine voltage. You can into the, into the, this one, into the DFU, DFU mode to restore okay restore to restore first sometimes you restore then you can success but sometimes you restore restore error sort of problem from the t2 or the other socket okay restore error and restore success so the mean is a t2 normal and the t2 working condition is normal Okay, T2 room damage also used the area, okay? So this is about a T2 uh, socket and T push the 5 volt to 10 volt. Okay? When T communication the data is normal, then T2 bridge OS is okay. Then communication the data to USB C room. USB C room reading the wrong data. Normal and 5 volt goes to 10 volt. Okay? So this is about the T2 model, different uh, uh, the socket. So T1 is a T2. T1, no, no T2 bridge OS, okay? Just the SMC control the USB-C. But the T2 model, T of the T2 control the USB-C, USB-C chip, okay? And also T of the T2 bridge OS, okay? T2 bridge OS. So, uh, which one current and which one problem is about the USB C room? Now I'll tell you the uh, how to repair the just the five voltage. How to repair this one very fast? Okay, you can use the Spanish. Then, yes. First, then I tell you the how to. This is about the T two and the T one. Master, you always, so, mm. always test me. So always test me. Eh, lo, que, lo, que hemos, lo que hemos explicado este, cómo podemos eh, cómo reparar el problema de, o encontrar problema y después solucionar el problema de este 5 voltaje de 20 en un circuito de modelo, modelo T1 y modelo T2 ok, T1 es de 2016 a 2017 entonces en eh, con el USB-C, entonces este conector USB-C a 5, 5 voltaje a 20. Entonces es como, ¿eh? No puedes. No power. Yes. Hello. Ok, no es ok. Está bien ahora. Sí, es como un, un punto... Como manta, como, si, como información, otro punto a otro punto. Entonces, de USB-C a ISC 2239, después a U6903, después a SMC, y después eh, como un círculo a, a USB-C, como un, una circulación. Y después él, él ha explicado en 2018, 2020, entonces desde USB-C a otro SIM, ISL. 92.40 y después a 1.6903, después a PMU. Y después, eso todo está dentro de un, un chip que se llama T2. Entonces T2 después a, a USB-C, entonces como toda un, una circulación dentro de este chip. Entonces si hubiera problemas, eh, por ejemplo, a veces puede ser el problema de, de este T2, entonces tenemos que re reescribir este reprogramar este datos de T2 ROM o a veces 
puede ser problema de USB-C, entonces tenemos que, eh, es que había un, un ROM chip controla USB-C, entonces a lo mejor tenemos que reprogramar los estados en USB-C, es lo que, lo que era explicado, si hubiera problema de 5, que 5 que no sube a 20, entonces puede ser un circuito, y cómo puede ser circulación, dónde puede estar fallo y cómo podemos solucionar el problema. Eso es lo que, lo que él ha explicado. Ok, no sé si me entiende. Espero que, espero que, que haya podido explicarme bien. ¿Vale? Si tienen cualquier duda, pues, también pueden dejar comentario en, el, en, el, en la zona de comentario. Y también después de, del curso o del live stream, también podemos... Eh, uh, explicarle o ayudarle con el problema que tiene, ¿vale? Ok, me toca más estar vivo. Okay. Seguimos. Okay. So, uh, now I'll tell you the how to quickly to find the problem about the T1 and the T2. Okay? The fine wall, or just the fine voltage. So, you can see. You check the USB-C, charge and see, and then U3, U690, is normal, they also enter the SMC working on normal. So maybe the problem is a USB C ROM. But the USB C ROM damage the cover is this one. A zero, then prime wall, then zero. Okay, up and down. When the USB C ROM data, okay, I write down this one. USB C ROM or the uh, this one the data okay, USB C ROM data or USB C to communication the USB C ROM disconnect which one the one okay, you can see the uh, the schematic in this one. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the schematic. Mm. So it's like a 0 to 5 to 0 is like jumping. You mean the voltage is like jumping, yeah, yeah. right? Jumping. So this is probably the problem with the USB C ROM. ROM. Yes. And see, the communication the data to USB so. UPC SP. Mm -hmm. Okay, right on there. A UPC SP clock. This one. Or UPC. UPC. Oh, it can be. SPI clock, okay. SPI clock and uh, uh, M O S I M I S O M O S I M I S O and uh, C X, okay. One, two, three, four. Four. This one to communication the data to USB C room. So when this line disconnect, okay, disconnect. This one they connect. Okay, liquid image and they connect. So the current or uh, the voltage of the zero point, zero, uh, zero watt, five watt, zero restart, restart. And the current, okay, and the current maybe from the uh, zero zero point three five, then you jump to the uh, zero zero point uh, six five, or the other, then you restart. Okay, restart. The current. Also restart job. Five voltage, then zero. Five voltage, then zero. So when you see that this current, all this five voltage, you turn the USB C room data, all the USB C the communication the data to USB C room. Find that this one. A lot of the problem is uh here. Okay. So now you use the this one, this tools to write the USB C room mm -hmm. and also the data inside the, this USB C. So this is this is the tour so we can mm. like a program the uh, program the USB the USB C room. So this is the uh, oh. okay. Program the uh, USB. -C. So this number is uh, the code is uh, U three zero one. So this is the uh, the, the model. This is the model yes. of this product. Yes. So and this uh, is the uh, the socket. We put uh, the uh, mm. this is the USB C. We put a USB C ROM inside of this socket, right? Yeah. So USB we put a USB C, C into this uh, socket. Mm. So we can uh, re can re -pro mm. program 
Mm. And all the USB C room data. Uh, all the USB C room, room data, data inside of this is already integrated, ready, like uh, mm. written inside of this uh, mm. tour. Yes, okay. these tools. So you just need to connect to the Windows computer, then you we can connect with the Windows computer. The uh -huh. USB C room. Okay. Mm. Yes, and also you can see that this video. So we have a video here camera. as well, so it's very clear, so we can. Uh, see that this video first. Let's see the. So this is the video. It's about the T two model. So we let's start from the beginning. Mm. So wait a moment, I tell you the T two model. Okay. How to repair that? This is the beginning. We uh, mm. we just started from the beginning. Let's get started. Let's already started. Mm. No, 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 this one. Yes, M1. Oh, this one. Okay, yes. sorry. This M1 one. is uh, the demo that tomorrow I'm talking about the M1. One work. Okay, now let's get started. Mm. So now uh, you see that this one. Okay, just a uh, fine voltage. Connect this connector. And uh, just a uh, fine voltage. Okay. Then the current. Just a uh, zero point. Three, no, no jump. Okay, no jump to twenty one. Okay, no jump. So this is about the uh USB C room, all the USB C cable, USB C the multiple, all the USB C socket problem. Okay, that's this socket problem. So you continue to see that. Then I connect to the other side. Okay, because this connect this letter to have the one side. Left side and the right side to a uh, four USB C connector. Okay, four USB C connector. You see, connect to the other side, you can boost to 20 watt. Okay, connect to this side, T can boost to 20 watt. And the current is normal, I can display. Okay, so the left side is uh, normal, but you connect to the right side, it's working normal. Okay, right side is working normal. So the problem, okay, continue. See that this one. Okay, you see the continue. Okay, then you disconnect the power. Okay, disconnect the power. To remove this model is a uh, A19 A9 T2 model. Okay, A19 A9 T2 model, 2019. Okay, remove the Pardon case, then okay, then you uh, disconnect the battery, remove the multiple, okay, remove the multiple. So now you remove the uh, first one, you replace the disk cable, USB C cable, because a lot of the problem is uh, liquid damage, some of the USB C cable. Damage also no boost to 20 watt. So replace the, this cable first. Okay, replace this cable then. Then continue. Okay, replace this cable for the problem. Same. So so the problem from the multiple. Okay, we can see. From the model, also, also is a uh, fine voltage. Okay, so now uh, remove the model. Okay, it connect the model to the other model. You see, this the main is a uh, one side USB C is uh, normal. But the other side, okay, and normal. This side, the connected power is normal. This side, and normal. So the problem is the USB C. USB C, the working connection is normal. Okay, USB C working connection is normal. Only the which one problem? Maybe the, maybe the uh, USB C room. Okay, USB C room. Have the problem. Okay, maybe the USB C room. 
So now you can see the right thumb the this one. USB C. Enough. Uh, the in the video you can see one side in the left side and the right side. Okay, the left and the right. Okay, connect this side. T can post you can use. This one is just a fun voltage. Then you connect to this side, you can watch the tenure. So the main is a USB C, USB C working connection, and the charger and C, and the use this nine zero three, and also the PMU T two. All the working connection is normal because for them this working connection is normal. You connect the right side all, only, also only the fine wall. But now you connect the right side, you can watch the tenure. So the main is the T2, PMU, this I see and this I see working connection is normal. Just the problem is the left side, the USB-C chip or the USB-C wrong data have the problem. Okay, understand? So you, will, you yes. will connect with the left side and the right side? Yes, because the left side just a fine one, right? So from one side yeah. is like 5 voltage, from other side is like 20. Yeah, so it means yeah, one side is normal, and other side is mm, and it's normal. not uh, not normal. So yeah, no, so the right because you connect the right side, you can boost in the so that this IC. Mm -hmm. All the IC working connection is normal. And okay. so now left side, you just need to check the left side the USB C and the USB C room data. Okay, mm -hmm. USB C room data because for them this right side. Uh, have the problem for the PM we have the problem also right side only the fine voltage okay for now the T can post to 10 volt so the problem from the left side okay from the left side so now how to repair this one continue see the, this video So now, uh, this side, yes, this uh, CD315 to control the this uh, USB C room. Okay, this one USB C room. Now, okay, you see the multiple number. Okay, find that this uh, USB C chip. This uh, USB C chip. Then in the schematic to find the USB C room. Okay, find the USB C room. This one US connect to this signal okay, to find the USB C room. Okay, this one. Now you can see the US two A zero nine zero is a USB C room. Okay, this is a USB C room. So now you can write the USB C room first. Okay, remember when you check the uh, one side. So T can boost to 10 volt and other side no boost. All sometimes you check the working connection are normal. You can write the USB C room first. Okay, USB C room. So now I use the air gun to remove the USB C room chip. Then I use the U301 D2 to program the USB C room. And this pro or uh, this shows. Uh, all the data T1, T2, and M1 data inside the, this two. Okay, now okay, connect the pin one. Okay, connect to the pin one, then connect to the Windows computer. Okay, Windows. So computer. it has to be Windows, right? Yes, okay, this is a program software. See the uh, USB C ROM, the number. Then clean the open file. So now you you find the USB C. You can see USB C room. This one, all the USB C room data inside of this two. Okay, now you just select the which model. This model is A19 A9. So you select the A19 A9 to write this data. Okay. Okay. A19, A9 to write this data under this uh, USD trait U29. Then select this one to write the wrong data. 
No. Out to yes. program. Mm. Write the new USB C room data. You can write the USB C room data. Now program dot. Okay. Remove the USB C this room. Then in solar bed this room. Okay, solar bed this room. So when you see the current is up and down and the voltage up and down, you can rewrite the room USB C room data first and you check the all the working condition is normal, no boost to 20 volt. Also you can write the room data. Okay, this room data first. So now uh, when I write the room room data, okay, then you can boost to 20 watt. Okay, which then I write this one finish. Okay, sort of back to the wrong trip. Okay, wrong trip. Okay, so sort of back the wrong trip. Then you see the uh, this current, see the voltage connect to the power. Okay, see the ticket boost to now ticket boost to 10 watts. Okay, you can both show 10 volt and the current, current also jump. Okay, current also jump. So this is about the USB C room data. That means just the fine wall. Okay, just the fine wall. So now this multiple is about the uh, USB C room data damage. Then the so the problem is uh, just the fine voltage. Okay, that's why so now I'll tell you the T2 mode how to quickly to find the problem about the USB C. Okay, this one from the bed. Right mode. Okay. I'm going to the right mode. To shoot to the the whiteboard. Mm. So now uh, you see T2 mode. Okay, before I tell you just the difference is uh, PMU and the T2. Okay. This one, same, okay, USB C row and the USB C row data, same. So, T2 model, you see the current also just uh, in the one side, whether we connect the one side is okay, another side okay, you can write the USB C row. And sometimes the, the current also, this one, 5 volt goes to 10 volt, okay, 5 volt is 0, 5 volt, 0, 5 volt. The car, the voltage restart, restart, drop, and the current also zero, zero, or uh, this one. The T2 mode, the current is uh, maybe this one, T jump to the zero, zero point eight, zero, then restart. Okay, when you see that this current, okay, connect to power cable, power cable to see the current. Okay, see the current jump. The current is jump. So the problem is the USB C room. And uh, sometimes the T2 room data damage. The current is uh, which one? The T2 room data damage just the fine voltage. No jump. Okay, no up and down. And the current, okay, the current stop 0, 0 0.45 or sometimes 0, 0 0.65. Okay, stop here. So, so when you see that this current, just the fine voltage, just the fine voltage, and the current stop 0, 0 0.45 or stop here 0, 0 0.65. This may be the T2 wrong data damage. Okay, T2 wrong data. You use the this tools, U bus two. U bus two to write the T2 room. Okay, use the this tools. Yeah, this is yes. the use this tool. So this is for the bias data. Yes, USB C uh the, the T2 T2 room. T2 room data yes. is all well, is also room. inside of this box. Yes, use the this one to write uh, so different the current and different the voltage, the problem also different. This one up and down, 5 volt, 0, 5 volt, it's a USB C room data. Then just the 5 voltage, 
and the current stuff here. So maybe the T2 room. Here is a five, it's five voltage but it stays. Mm. It stops there, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, I mean, the, if the, the voltage is like from 0 to 5, 0 to 5 is jumping, mm. and the current is 0 0.045 at 0 0.080, mm. then back to 0 0.045. Mm. So, this is the problem, the, the problem of the USB C ROM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if, if it's a uh, 5 voltage mm. and it stays, mm. it stays at a 5, mm. the current is 0 .0 0 0.045 to 0 0.065. So, this mm. is the problem of the uh, T2 model, I mean T2 ROM. Yeah. So if, our, if we wanted to USB C ROM to reprogram, we're using this U301. U301, so this is the, uh, mm. this is the tool we're gonna be using. Mm. Yes. Using for the, uh, the USB C ROM. So this is the YouTube U-Boss 2. Mm. So this is, the this is the tool we're gonna be using for T2 ROM. Yes. And also this box we were like explaining two weeks ago, this is also for the BIOS data, for a lot yeah, of BIOS data, yeah, yeah, yeah. for like MDM log, for a lot of, uh, for activation log, for different log, and also for the uh, IG to EG and also some other problem, which is caused by this wrong BIOS data. So with this one, we are like rewriting, reprogramming all the data inside that makes uh, the machine works, right? I mean, the, the, the MacBook works. Okay. This is what I understood. Probably you guys. This is what I understood. So I just repeat it to make sure you guys are in front of the screen. Mm -hmm. So can understand what uh, we have talked, we have explained. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is about the uh, T1 and the T2. The T, uh, the final approach to tangible socket and how to quickly to repair. So let us see the T1 or T2. You check the working connection first. This one is okay. Then you read the USB C ROM data. Okay, read the USB C ROM data. I'll check the this one. The USB C check. Communication this line. Okay, a lot of liquid damage. Then the line disconnect. So that's the final one. And then T2 model. Also, you can see the current. See the voltage. You can read the T2 ROM data or the USB C ROM data. So you can quickly to find the problem. For now, you write this line also got the fine voltage. So the problem maybe from the other socket, okay? From T2, T2 bridge OS and uh, T1, maybe from the SMC. Maybe the USB C should damage, maybe the SMC have the problem, so you match the, the other problem. But you 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 can write the ROM data first, okay? And also you can write the T2 ROM. T2 room data first. So this is about the T1 and the T2. The uh, final work which you can what the repair me for. And then tomorrow we are talking about the M1. Okay, M1 socket. The final work to TND work. Okay, M1. Tomorrow we will tell you the how to repair the M1 socket. Okay, that's the final voltage and the post to TND work. Okay, so now, uh, you have to any question about the maple repair maple. So today we explain yes. this T1 and T2. Tomorrow we're gonna be explaining mm. M1 model. Yes. So oh. that's what we we're gonna be explaining tomorrow. Mm. If you guys have any questions, so you can leave your questions on this comment area. Mm. So let us know. So let's see if we can uh, help you guys right now. Or we have to depends on the questions you're you're gonna be having, mm -hmm. so we we can decide if we answer now or we answer later. Yes. So anybody there is like a wrote a writing mm -hmm. or wrote answer, I mean questions there. Yes, about the mid book model. Let's go to the, the uh, problem. Uh, awesome. Isn't it easy to make a drawing of a commission sequence? Augustine. So, I have a time to deny return, but no, won't turn on. No display, check to click. So, this is what you, uh, this is what we talked about for another last week. Is we can use this mm -hmm. U, S U E M 2 so we can mm -hmm. test the uh, e, e, EDD socket, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, for yeah. this one, okay, you can the test the one. I mean, this one. Oh. So we can connect to another. We can connect to use the HDMI to connect to another monitor to see if it works. 
Mm. It's not working, so we connect with uh, we use the uh, yeah. SUEM2 to connect to the EDP socket, right? To check yeah. if the solid so problem is. The so. question is uh, A2289. Is the candy wall is okay? But now, no turn on. on. Yes, no turn on and no display. Uh, check so yes. this is probably yeah, 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 yeah. the display or yes, we have to connect the, to the HDMI oh, to see yes, if it yeah, works. Yeah, right. But you must see the coloring first. Before I tell you about use the SUM2, you must see the current. Current jump. And the uh, current jump is normal, no display. The uh, if we have to see the current, you yes, can jump in or jump in. Yeah, yeah, yes. The current no jump. Maybe the standby socket and the uh, power one socket problem. But then with the current jump, no display. So the problem from the display coming check. Okay, from the so display. jumping but no display mm. probably the uh, mm. display connector. Yes, so you can use the these tools. You to know. So this is the tour that you can use for to test the EDB connector first. So this is probably uh, this is the other tour we were talking. You can use this one for the uh, for check for checking the uh, this is like in testing instrument. So you can yeah. connect with the ESP, EDP or ESP, yes. EDP, EDP, EDP. Sorry, EDP connector to see where the problem is because you can see from the screen. So the the, the status is normal, it's going up and down. If you all the up normal. Yeah, value yeah. on it so you know where the problem yes. is. Okay. Because a lot of the, this model, uh, a two two and a lot of CPU. Yeah, done. DFU is close. Still one turn on. Mm. Another, you get hot a lot. It's getting hot. If mm. anything's hot, it's probably the circuit issue, right? Yes, and he said he restore. Yes, restore success, but also not on one. Okay, so you can test the uh, EDB connector first. Restore so says the mean only the MA9 and the T2 is normal. Okay, for some of the, the CPU damage also not displayed. Okay, CPU damage also not displayed. And uh, A2251. PMU got hot a lot. Hot, hot a lot. Uh, PMU, you must the, 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 the current and the voltage, that's the fine wall. Or the candy wall and the current. Okay, so repair the MacBook multiple or the laptop and send the iPhone. You must see the current first. Different the current, the problem is uh, different. Okay, so connect the, uh, uh, you can connect the power supply or you can use the BY3200S to see the current and the voltage. Okay, different the current and the problem is all the different. Uh, what is what is the uh, what is the uh, oh uh, yes, do you have the voltage top and the uh, 3.3? Yes, top is a PV bus 3.3. You said the PV 3.3 G3 RTC, right? Yes, so so different. Uh, this one, okay. current job, uh, yes, current job. So Maybe it's a power on is okay, so you can find a problem from the display connection. Okay, check the display connection. Okay, maybe the have the short socket. You can find the problem from the display connection. Have the other question about the where can I view? Diagram. Equal. Disconnect. What can I work with? The schematic. Diagram. Schematic. So if he's asking. Oh, he said schematic. Yes. The schematic. Brother, you want to join the join the online course or the online course? I can send to you for free. Okay, for free. So. Uh, because the, a lot of the maple multiple, the schematic and the software okay, from the Apple company. So only the join the online or the online course. So you want to learn the how to repair the maple. Okay, how to repair the maple. You can join the online course on the online. You have online another question. Course. This guy, Omesa, Sarihu Omesa.
829, working slow. Where can I download Bob News? Can I make them search? Dragging. Dragging? It's dragging. Drag? What is that dragging? I don't know. It's, it's a boat way up? Could it be that I have heard you speak in Spanish? Or am I just my idea? I don't know the name of two teachers. Agustin. Si hablamos español. Si hablamos. Have the Spanish or was just my idea? After two teacher beer. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, I <laughs> Master Master Liu. <laughs> yes. Master Liu. A member of one. This is some of those. I uh, said the A two two eight nine walking slow. Oh it's a walking slow. It's working slow, it's not it's not fast, it's mm -hmm. so this model working slow, slow. But before you say the, it's a no display, now you say the... This is another slow. question, this is another question from uh, from me. Um, another question? Is that working but very slow? Okay, and that is Peter, right? Peter, uh -huh. right. Pedro, Pedro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the yes, yes. Mm. It's like it's like a working but very slow. Mm. It's not fast. So we're yeah, yes. supposed but, to uh, you must show the fan fast or no very fast. Yes, <laughs> Pedro. Pedro hablas hablas español, okay? Pero su nombre parece un nombre. No parece su nombre español. So you said the uh, flash chipad battery the charger. What was the flash chipad? So before the virus slows. So you see the walking normal but virus slow. Maybe the yes, maybe the chipad. It's okay. Have the problem. I also a lot of the problem for them the fan very fast. So the problem from the from the uh, temperature sensor. Before uh, in the code in the other course, I tell you how to check the temperature sensor to find the problem. And uh, also have the multiple current sensor, voltage sensor have the problem also very slow. Okay, I mean it's probably different uh, issues from uh, mm. sensor for temperature. Yes, from temperature, from current. current, and the voltage. Sensor. So you just need to check the temperature, voltage, and the current sensor from the T2. You, this is a T2 model. So you can open the uh, schematic to. Yes. So the fan no running fast. So the problem no the temperature sensor. About the voltage and the current sensor. Uh, so okay. yes, he has mm. to check the, the, the current and the voltage sensor. Mm, yes, and voltage and the current sensor. It's about the uh, so I have any question about the maple multiple. <laughs> Anton. Yes. Anton. It seems like a name from name you Russian. Name. Content. Yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe from the Monday to the Tuesday, every day to talk about the maple repair maple, okay, and show the maple the class, okay, free class, live class, okay. So you want to train in the online and the other uh, repair maple, trade level repair maple. Also, you can come come to China. Okay, with the next month, next month we we'll start the online course. Okay, yes, we have online, online training, not offline. Sorry. Yes, offline. Offline, China, offline means you, you have to come here, like face to face. Yes, in my office. So we have to come to the to our office. So yes. we have like a training here from next start mm. next week or next week. Sorry, next mm. month, from seven of August. Mm. So we have like a basic inter intermediate, mm. intermediate. 
and also we have the uh, advanced. Mm. So we have a plan. If you guys are interested, you can leave your number so we can send you the uh, the plan for the training. So you guys oh, are interested. Yes. Okay, you say it's uh, Mike Jones, right? From Nibra. Uh, he's one of your no Nigeria, oh. Africa. Nigeria, Nigeria is from Africa. No, uh, no Nibra. No, 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 it's Nigeria's. Oh, nearly, yeah. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. You know, it's a practice in a strap of my mind. If it's necessary to replace the disc, or only with the Europe, we see you know what thing is it okay? Leo, uh, you need to see the, this, this, this question because I don't understand very well. I was practicing the swap of M1. It's not, it's not a problem with my language. It's like sometimes I'm not very good with those technical, <laughs> mm. <laughs> technical uh, questions. I'm not very good at this. So if you was practicing the swap of M1, is it necessary? Pussy <laughs> is it necessary to replace the disc? Or only with the EPP wrong CPU and what phase is it okay? No, I don't. Which one? This question. Oh. I was pressing the of the M1. Like swap the uh, CPU, I think. This. Oh, only with EP wrong. And what phase? Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, yes, you must replace the uh, M1 ROM and the Wi-Fi. Yes, M1 ROM and the Wi-Fi and the and, and the, the fingerprint. M1. Yes, the touch as well. Very right. Uh, this is like a swap. Or just swap the M1. So you have to. It's like uh, what we talk about the end act activation with the. Mm with the MI models, so they have to replace the M1, replace the Wi-Fi, replace the uh, ROM, replace the, yeah. uh, the fingerprint as well, so like yeah. four pieces at, at least, so mm. to make sure everything works. <laughs> nice damn steal you a big time. Google the phone number and the backup for where the voltage why the voltage passing in any voltage section? Why the voltage passing? Why the voltage passing in any voltage section? Well, but it's normal, right? The voltage why? is simply up and down, up and down a little bit, right? It's yeah. like a, it's a pulse of your like your body. It's like a boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this yeah, is normal, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. This is something we don't. We have to ask a Tesla. <laughs> yes. So different uh, model, maybe the the current also different. Yes. Yes. It's not a rocket right. sign. Yes. <laughs> Pedro, we where from Pedro? Which country are you from? So this is about the different uh, the model. Uh, first we a lot about the. Right? You thought me a lot about schematics. You thought me, or you taught me. Mm. You know, you taught me, or you thought me. Yes, I sent to you, right? I sent you a lot the schematics, right? So you taught me. You taught me. You teach me. You taught me a lot. I think oh. he wanted to see you okay. taught me. It's not you teach me. Or oh, better, Australia. Ah, the Peter. Peter. Yes, is that a Peter? Yeah. I was talking. Ah, the Peter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Peter. Peter in English. Spanish is Pedro. See. <laughs> see, see, see. Yes, from the Australia. Yes, the Peter also my uh, my best friend. Your student is online. Oh, no, 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 my student brother is uh, my best friend. Best ah, friend. okay. Taught. I think it's taught. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's not you thought me. Yes, T also is Salihu. Salihu. Are there any about the about the question about the maple multiple? Okay, for example, the no display and the no power and the other the question. Ah, uh, same guy. Yes, Peter Pedro. Mm. Yes, for my question. Is the yes. 
and the information is not oh, necessary. It's, uh, necessary. Change the SSD. Uh, my question is if it's yes, yes. it's necessary in a swap to change the yes. SSD and the information mm -hmm. is It's necessary or not necessary? Yes, but, but you want to recover the data, you must re, re, uh, change the, remove the SSD together. But further, you just uh, want to replace the mother room. Then you don't need the data, you just replace the Wi-Fi and the M1 chip. You mean the uh, SSD is, is, is not necessary? It, it yes, doesn't, it's, it's, it's not necessary SSD to change. SSD only for the, for the uh, recovery data. So SSD is only something that where you, you keep the data. If you don't mm -hmm. want to remove it, you can keep the old one. Mm, yes. So if you want to remove, you just you change a new one. But you have to yeah, yeah, program, yeah. right? Yeah, yes. Okay. So there is a difference. Can I bypass model in T2 chip? Bypass. Bypass, no, no use for it. No, uh, yes, before the bypass. Yes, no? yes take a bypass for the bypass when you restore. Oh, you yeah, restore the, 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 the ice flow, yes, come back. Okay, then, you better change. Yes, change, change the T2. You no, the T2 also is a trick. Okay, also, you change the T2, replace the T2, it's a remove the eye flow. Okay, but you bypass. Maybe you when you, coming back. Yeah, when you, you, you into the DFU restore, then the then the eye color go back. What is the A15 okay A1534? Is that are you located in Shenzhen? Yes in Shenzhen bro. He's asking for the art. He he needed this schematic, A1522, mm -hmm. he said. Because Pedro said you can go there. And you can find it somewhere you now, so mm -hmm. Google it. This is what uh, Pedro said. Okay, are you located? Yes, sir. Yes, where you send in? Information about the office. Yeah, we can send you the, the location. We can send you the location. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> iPhone. Yes. Yeah, it's in the uh, paper, only the A1534. I don't know the A1524. Uh, yes, where you send in, so yeah. Oh yes, I in Shenzhen. Yes, Shenzhen. My repair shop in Shenzhen, Fajian Bay. Shenzhen, Fajian Bay. But my office is uh, in the other, also in other city. And so you want to the online training, you can connect to me. No, I said, my yes, I put this in. But uh, but if you have if you have to replace the T two, that means you replace a new one. So a new one has to be without no iCloud. Right? Yeah. So. I don't really get. Uh, and also, I have. If you replace it, you don't have it. You don't have the lock inside. So you, when you replace a new one, you have to make sure the new one without any, mm. without any uh, iCloud inside, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. the new one. I also I can. iPhone. Yes. Okay. Yes. I know. It's a. Uh, uh, okay. It's iPhone. For now, I uh, replace the MacBook. Talking about the MacBook repair, MacBook. Okay. Now for the iPhone. Okay. iPhone 6 Plus. Yes, iPhone 6 Plus. Mess with the Apple T2 to replay the display or display logic logic board. Touch ID or thought case is a loss. How can we do system without lead to Apple soft. So this one is always one. <laughs> On the other hand, lately I have changed the server M1 Max and M2 screen, but I have not seen the shadow gate. See shadow is it possible to start uh, without present in new system? Apple you don't understand this? I don't understand this. <laughs> shadow oh, because, yes, it's a no, no anyway. To be said, uh, uh, not without the link to the Apple software. You say that you replay the, replay the display, logic board, touch ID, and the tool case. It, this one you can replay uh, because the T two model. Okay, T two and M one also you can replay the display and the logic board. Okay. No, it didn't need to connect to the Apple Apple software. So zero, yes. And this one is about the watch. Michael, don't worry, don't worry, man. 
<laughs> Don't worry. On the what? You sit there. On the other hand. On the other hand, later I've changed the several more. Yes, changed the several more max and I'm two screens. So I've not seen a shot. Shadow, shadow game, because I don't understand this. Was a shadow or shadow? Is it possible that it's not uh, present in a new system? Where's a shadow gate? You probably know that. Shadow or shadow? In Zeman. Where's the Zeman? And M2 screen, yes. M1 Mac and uh, M1, uh, yes, M1. M1 Pro is uh, A2 442. And uh, A2, yes, M1 and M2. You, the two models, you must remove the uh the from the original screen to remove the two chips to the other screen okay m1 m1 pro and the m1 max and also m m2 okay the other for example the t2 and the m1 uh, you don't need to remove the, the screen chip uh yes okay uh, where can this is the device that goes when the maple screen is no damage. Yes. So you only need to replace the screen or you can replace the tool case. Okay, replace the tool case. Uh, have the about the maple multiple. The coming case and the other recommend and uh, the other problem. Defect that it caused because Maple Sky is not damaged according to Apple? Is the defect that is caused? No, no different. Different. Rahim is here. Welcome, welcome, Rahim. <clears throat> Rahim is also a teacher in Scotland. He has, uh, he's, he's giving classes, I think, trainings as well in the UK. So, no any question? Okay, guys. Maybe no more questions. We're gonna. You already, you already read everything. The the roof. Mm -hmm. You have you checked everything. The the roof. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any questions we missed? Yes. We are uh, maybe to yeah, tomorrow. Uh, also. Uh, maybe you can leave your comments. Maybe you can leave your comments in the comment area. So mm -hmm. leave your, okay, you can write Master Liu. You can write in as well. So mm -hmm. we can talk directly. So yes. we we'll send a video. Or you can talk to him directly. So I also think this is talking in the my WhatsApp. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and WhatsApp. You can wrote. You can write your WhatsApp there. So yes, so they can WhatsApp. they can no, talk no. to you directly. Yes. So about the any question about the maple repair and the other question you can uh, ask me. Okay, you can talk to uh, any questions. You can talk to Master Liu, Master Liu, by WhatsApp. Okay, by WhatsApp. Okay, you cannot turn it on. Okay, I will just finish my my speech. Okay, guys, any questions, you can leave your comment in the comment area. We can talk to Master Liu by WhatsApp. Mm. And, uh, you know, every uh, every week we're going to have three, four times of live stream. So I welcome you guys to, to join us. And, uh, okay, have a good day. Maybe, not maybe. We're going to see you Monday, tomorrow for sure. Yes, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow we're talking about in the Facebook, right? We're going to talk about our Facebook. We're gonna, yeah, yeah we're going to have the live stream on, face on Facebook. And we're going to, oh. the same time on Facebook. 
Yes, so the, it's gonna be tomorrow. The Tuesday from the yeah.